Good morning, guys. I'm just making a couple, um, I guess they're burrito wraps, little wraps. I'm going to cut up this ham. Just fry it up for a few minutes. Turn my heat down, eh? Right? Just for a couple minutes. Already been out, had the girls out for a bit. It was cold, so they were kind of heading into their run. I love how they go. Sorry if this is loud. So I love how they go into their run now. It's like their little home. Bruce, I got Bruce hanging some stuff up, and he's on a little break right now. Hanging some of my new stuff all up. Look at these eggs. Look how big they are. Fresh laid. I'm going to put a few in here. Go with the ham. Mix that up. I see. Some salt and pepper on those eggs. Just a little bit of salt. There goes the fridge. <laughs> I'll turn my heat off right now. Because these eggs are almost cooked. And I'm going to throw in some pico that I made yesterday. And the rest of the talk the cheese from the tacos let that sit and melt for a few minutes Oh, I should put some sour cream or something in there. I have some whipped cream cheese. That'll work. Good. I'm going to put that in a burrito, a tortilla shell. I have to make Bruce's lunch. How many wraps do you want, hon? Huh? Two? They're small. Yeah. And you want one for later? 
for your lunch before you go to work? Yeah. Okay. Make Bruce's work lunch. It's Friday, hon. It's Friday. Thank you, God. It's Friday. Sorry, I'm not in a cheery mood. <laughs> He's got a runny nose. You want to shit? Huh? It's a man cold. and then they bring it to work. Could be worse. Can't stand on this thing. Well, if it breaks, it breaks, I guess. What's that? Hanging up stuff? Yep. No, I got more stuff. <laughs> Not my problem. People. Job's done. No, I got more things. Oh, the tip's over there, so. You got this container will work perfect for two wraps. Then I can put chips in the side. Here. Put it in the back. Huh? You just put it in the back. You're not supposed to eat it. I need a chip, okay? Depriving me of one chip. <laughs> Cycling guy, he must have wanted to go home early today. Yeah, they wanted a long weekend. They were up. I didn't even hear that this morning. What's that? Make it easy. He saves his little containers. Okay, he has two ham and cheese wraps with chili cheese Fritos. He has a Orange, orange mandarin, mandarin, half a big Turk, some cookies, and some homemade applesauce. That's Bruce's lunch today. Okay, you guys. So, I put all my Easter stuff away. Now I bring out my other birdies. <laughs> so I'm going to dust this and I'm going to decorate my shelf here and see what I can come up with. And I'll show you. So, uh, Bruce is still, he's not feeling that great with this cold. So, I told our friends we better hold off. So, uh, <coughs> so, because I don't know what he wants. He's going to run a rest tomorrow because, you know, he doesn't feel good. So, and he had to go to work. So, 
Yeah, so we're probably not going to get together with our friends tomorrow. We'll have to po postpone it. But you know what? It was just, it was just snowing. You can believe that? It was just snowing. Yeah. I can't believe we just had a little bit of snow. Yeah, so hopefully next weekend we'll get them over and have a bonfire. Eve's anxious. She loves bonfires and they can't have them because they live in the city, right? So, yeah. But I'm sure we'll be having lots of bonfires with the nice weather coming sooner or later, right? <laughs> Let's hope. Okay, let me see what I can do here to decorate. He loves chips. <laughs> Just like his mom. Hey, Zen. You love your chips. This is ketchup. Oh, sorry. This is ketchup chips. He loves them. You can see it all over his face, eh? <laughs> okay, you guys. Even though Bruce is cranky and, and has a man cold, <laughs> I got this sign hung up today. I just hung that one up, but I think it's crooked. I'm going to have to fix that a little bit. And then over here, we got there. I got my cottage sign hung up. And then I need a few more hung up, but that was enough for today. Okay. Then I got this up here. Nate put this up here for me. And uh, I got this picture up there. I'm... I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. I'm, I'm pondering whether to sell them or because I don't really like a lot up here. It gets greasy and stuff and more to clean, right? And Zen's in time out because he just won't stop. He won't stop tacking. Yeah, so he's in jail right now. <laughs> Okay, this here, that's my puzzle. I got a glue. I should glue that while he's in his cage. These are my little bumblebee bears I have for spring and summer. And then I have my Lego flowers and my, my of course, my chicken friend. I got the table all dusted down and, yeah, I got the floors done. I got my beach sign hung up because while well, we bring this out in the warmer weather, if it ever get warm, yeah, I got my floors all cleaned. And then I got this set up here. Okay. For the uh, spring and summer, this is our dream one day to have one of these trailers. We've been looking for years, but they, they're so expensive. And we're not in our budget at any time. So I like to look at this in spring, summer, and fall. I like to look at it. Yeah, and there's my sign, Memories at the Lake. These are seashells I got at the thrift store. I think I got this at the thrift store. I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah, those are the seashells. And I just put some of my favorite little birdies down there. And welcome to the lake. And we got our our cool birds. He's ready to go swim in the lake. And he they're all ready for spring and summer. Yeah. <laughs> I got this boat at the thrift store. Isn't it neat? Sailboat. Yeah. And we got our beach fish there. I don't remember where I got this van at. I really don't remember. Another little sign. Uh, we would love to have one of these too. One day. <laughs> we keep saying one day, one day. But they're so darn expensive. Yes. And then I got these at the thrift store. About a month ago I got them at the thrift store. And then there's Nate. He used to swim in the lake a lot. Yeah. And then a little sign. I got that at the thrift store. Go jump in the lake. And I got that candle at the thrift store. And there's a shell I got at the thrift store. And I got that sign. I don't remember where. 
Yeah, so this is some of my summery things I got out, if it had ever get warm. Yeah, I got quite a bit clean today. And I'm just going to put the covers on the uh, couches. And I got Zen's covers changed and washed. And I'm going to get in the kitchen now and cook that uh, red lobster casserole with the chicken right now. So let's go get that done. Uh, first, I'm going to put the covers on the uh, furniture. Okay. To make this red lobster, it's really like a um, pot pie. But it's red lobster pot pie. You're going to need, there's something in that butter I've just put in there. A half, half a stick or a half a cup, as we Canadians say, because we don't really have sticks too often, like the Americans do. Half a stick or a half a cup of butter. Then we're going to lay our rotisserie chicken in here. We're going to, I'm going to cut it up into pieces. And of course, Michelle does not have what she needs a can of cream of chicken soup, but I have this little bit of gravy in my freezer, and I'm going to use that because <laughs> I don't keep uh, cream soups in my pantry. I just don't have a, a really use for them, and I usually make it, but Michelle's tired after cleaning the house all day. Washing the floors and everything else, but I'm just going to use the gravy. But if you do have a can of cream of chicken soup, use that, okay? Okay, so this is like a whole rotisserie chicken minus the drumsticks. Somebody always eats those here. Yeah. Just cut this up. Make sure you don't get any bones. And I got Sandy's little bowl of chicken over here. That's for Sandy. I'm not making Caesar salad to go with it. I'll make the salad tomorrow. Since our friends aren't coming over because Bruce is not feeling well, we're just going to relax tomorrow. I'm going to work on my puzzle and stuff. And, you know, we're just going to relax, give him a break. Hopefully, his man cold goes away and he starts to feel better. But. He'll be able to relax. Yeah. He did not want to go to work today, but... Oh my God. You know, this government is sickening. He brings home a check and 300 of it's taken off for taxes. $300 off for taxes. That's nuts. That's not fair. To work all week and have to pay the government $300 for taxes in one week. Sickening. Okay, I let him out and he's got to put him back in. He's just crazy. Okay, here you can use a bag of mixed vegetables. But I'm using carrot, uh, not carrots, uh, corn and peas. But you can use a whole bag of mixed vegetables. Your choice. Mom? No, the big ones I have in there. If I can I cook one up for you if you want. You want one? Yeah? Okay. That layer's done. Okay, in here you're going to add your red lobster biscuit mix. And the seasoning pack, too. 
Oh, I'm, I'm so mad at that bird. I can't seem to do anything without him coming after me. It's just flustrating me. Sandy, there's a piece of chicken on the floor. Okay, then you're going to put your packet... Like I said, I see these sold at everywhere. At Walmart, uh, Costco, sometimes. I see them everywhere. No frills. All your stores, they have them. Okay, now I'm going to add two cups of milk to that. I'm using this. I'm not a person to dirty a lot of dishes when I'm cooking. Because I used to be a dishwasher at one time. And I appreciated the really good cooks that knew how to cook without using every damn dish in the place. <laughs> okay, there's one. There's two. Give this a mix up. Okay, we're going to pour this on top and we're not going to mix it while we get it in here. We're just going to pour it on top. Okay, I'm just going to not mix it, but blend it in. Okay, in here, I'm going to make my own broth, but you need two cups of broth. I'm going to make my own with my balloon. I might have some in the freezer, but I don't feel like looking for it. Not today. Okay. I think this weather is getting to us all. I'm just gonna put some of this. Ugh, broth in here and I'm gonna microwave it just to heat up the water. So the broth, the uh boulon. Leave it on. <laughs> It melts. Okay. Probably take about two minutes. Okay, I microwaved it for about two minutes. Just want to have that melted. Okay? So it makes chicken broth. It only takes a second. You can any use any kind of uh boudin chicken stock. You can use it from the box if you want. Okay, then I'm going to, this is where you add one can of cream of chicken soup, but I'm, I'm using this gravy <laughs> because, oh, I don't have chickens on hand. Chickens, cream of chicken. 
Because Michelle wants to make everything from scratch and not have anything on hand when she's tired. <clears throat> okay then, we're going to pour this on top. Okay. Remember, no mixing. Okay. Okay, we are going to cook this 350 for 45 minutes. I'm just waiting for Nate's pizza to come out of the oven before I put my red lobster hot pie in. But I was going to cook this, make this today, too, but I'm just, I was going to make it when our friends were over and I decided, no, I'm going to make it when I film. Uh, that way I can share with my friends because Scott sent me this. And uh, so I might make it for Sunday dinner. Yeah, if I cook on Sunday, I'm going to make some brownies to go with dinner. Yeah, because we're probably going to take tomorrow off and uh, let Bruce get some rest and relaxation. And Sunday, I'll cook the brownies and I don't know what we're having for dinner yet. Okay, these are the pizzas from... Costco. You get four in the box. I like how uh, thin the crust is. The guys might not like that too much, but if you're a thin crust person, you would probably like that. Okay, how long did I take? 45 minutes, right? Oh, I gotta, I gotta turn the convection off and put it on big. 45 minutes. There. Yeah. They might complain about the crust not being thick enough for them. But... We'll see what they think. If they like it, it's a cheap, it's a cheaper option to buy. Because I like to have these frozen pizzas on hand. Because, you know, uh, Nate and Bruce, they get munchies at night or pills over and they all feel like a, a pizza instead of ordering it. You know, you just pull it out of the freezer and throw it in the oven. Instead of ordering the pizza, ah, it's hot. Yeah, it saves you money. And we gotta save as much money as we possibly can now with the prices of these, of everything, and now with this friggin' carbon tax in Canada, we'll be able to drive any Ford to drive anywhere to go on vacation or anything. Oh, it looks good. It smells good. I would try it, but then I'd be full and I wouldn't eat my chicken pot pie. He'll bring all this whole thing in his room <laughs> and munch on it and play game, game, do some gaming with his friends. Yeah, I'm going to go tell him his pizza's ready. Okay, guys. Done. Oh, that heat feels good on my bones. Okay. Now, it might look a little jiggly. We're going to let it sit for 10 minutes. Okay? And then we'll scoop some up. Yeah. 10 minutes. Okay, guys. Let's scoop some out. I'm just using 
some regular bowls tonight. I don't feel like being fancy. No. Ooh, it turned out pretty good for just not having cream of mushroom soup on hand. Yeah. Good, you guys. Yeah. I'll scoop out Bruce's later. Let's go give this a try. I'm going to put some pepper on. Yeah. Then we got Sandy's chicken, too. Come on, guys. Okay, guys. Let's give this a try. You know, I'm wondering why I'm feeling tired all of a sudden. I forgot that I didn't sleep a wink last night. I was three in the morning, then it was four in the morning, and... Oh. I didn't sleep at all. Mmm. That's pretty good. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I like to put ketchup on my pot pie. So I, I got some ketchup here. Uh-huh. Forgot. Put my pop in the fridge. Well, I hope it's going to start warming up a little bit. She was cold today when I was outside with the girls. I have no idea why I couldn't sleep last night, but I'll be falling asleep tonight. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like to put a little ketchup on my pot pie. <laughs> I'm going to go watch some YouTube. Mm -hmm. Eat my pot pie, watch some YouTube. Work on my puzzle. <laughs> I'm a simple girl. YouTube puzzle. <sighs> That's me. Mm -hmm. I was going to tell you something and I can't remember what it was. But I'm glad I got all the housework done. I got the laundry all done. And uh, yeah, tomorrow Bruce and I can relax. Hopefully get him feeling better. And uh, we'll have, maybe we'll have Sunday dinner together. We'll see. We'll see you guys soon in the next one. Good night, everyone. Have a good weekend.